It's fairly easy to make a list of stakeholders for an ict for d project, but what do you do once you've got that list? In this short presentation, I'm going to show you two ways to analyze your stakeholders, role analysis and power interest analysis. For role analysis, you'll need the Sissoko checklist, which identifies six stakeholder roles. Clients are the primary beneficiaries who will be on the immediate receiving end of ict for d project outputs, and there may also be secondary clients who are indirectly affected. Implementers are those who design, build and operate the ict for d project. The sponsor pays for the ict for d project expense and effort. The owner is the leader of the group or unit centrally responsible for the ict for d project. A champion is any person who drives the ict for d project forward and seeks to justify its implementation. And there may also be other stakeholders who have a significant influence on the project or on whom the project will have a significant influence. Armed with this Sissoko checklist, you can then ask the three questions. To what extent are the roles present? If there's no champion, for example, it's unlikely the project will succeed. To what extent is there overlap between the roles? If, for instance, the sponsor, the owner and the champion are all the same person, that bodes well for the project. What are the relations between the stakeholders in terms of conflict or cooperation? Fairly obviously, if there's conflict, the project may not succeed. So, as well as offering an understanding of foundational project risks, this analysis also gives pointers to interventions that may be needed in order to identify or change or mediate between stakeholders. Alongside role analysis, you can also undertake power interest analysis. For this, you take each stakeholder in turn and assess the level of power they have to impact the development and implementation of the ict for d project and their level of interest in the ict for d project. So here's an example of a power interest analysis for an open government data project in Chile. Stakeholders with the most power and most interest, i.e. those towards the top right of the grid, are those on whom you should focus most attention. If you'd like to know more, then take a look at the ict for d textbook. And thanks for watching.